All right, so what we've done this week is uh, we've just taken like this G chord using this E shape. And again, this is gonna work for any key. So if we come up here to C, it'll work just as well, or A, whatever, whatever key we're in, but we're just in the key of G. Again, using this E shape, um, what we're doing is we're just kind of uh, seeing what notes are gonna be played over this shape right here. And what we can do is if we use our index finger kind of as a reference, um, what we can do is we can come up here to the top two strings here on this third fret. And these notes, these notes are all gonna be in the key of G. Um, so what we had done is we practiced like for example this right here. What I'm doing is I'm taking my third finger, I'm putting it here on this fifth fret, and I'm, scoot I'm scooting right up next to this fret and doing a bend. And then using my pinky to play the fifth fret, or I'm, yeah, the fifth fret here on this first string, so it's. Or we can do this, play them at the same time. And I like to end right here. So if we're playing right here, I can end up right here. Um, other notes that'll fit, so again, if we're using this E shape, what you can do is take your index finger and bring it up two frets. And here on these top three strings, we can play five, seven, five, seven, five, seven. And that all fits as well, so we can. Same thing, again, it'll work in C. So I'm going to do for the next couple minutes, again, come right here to where we're in this G, G shape. And just use some of these notes, you can try this exact one that we played. Try playing that along with me. I'm going to uh, start right here in the key of G. I'm just going to play for a couple minutes and I'll have you play along. So I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. If you have any questions with that, and I'll see you next time.